Hey everyone, it's Rainash30, and today I've gone through the evolution of Wonder Woman and all of her appearances in the DC animated movie timeline. And just so you know, I'm excluding her appearances in the DC animated movie universe, Lego, and DC superhero girl films for another video. But anyways, without any delay, let's begin. Alright, so starting off with our first appearance in Justice League The New Frontier, Superman discovers that Diana has become another vigilante as she freed female slaves and allowed them to kill their captors. Believing what she did was right, she demands that he leave. However, when the center attacks Themyscira, she barely escapes to warn everyone that it's coming. As it arrives, she joins the battle in defending America, supports the Flash for his mission, and after it's destroyed, she teams up with other superheroes to form the Justice League of America. I gave them freedom and a chance for justice. You know, the American way. No matter how much good we do, deep down, people are always going to be scared of us. Take a look around, Cal. Oaths don't mean much here. All I see is suffering and madness. Now a year later in her standalone film, Wonder Woman, Diana is born when her mother shapes her from sand in her own blood. We then cut to a millennium later, where Steve Trevor crash lands on Themyscira, and after the lasso reveals he means no harm, Diana wins a competition to get him home safely. Donning the armor, she takes Steve back, and they end up working together when Ares escapes. As he calls upon his armies, Ares unleashes chaos until Diana defeats him in combat, and after his army leaves, she becomes an ambassador and the hero Wonder Woman. <laughs> Dealing with doppelgangers in Justice League Crisis on Two Earths, Lex Luthor from a parallel Earth asks the Justice League for help as a crime syndicate have taken over. Wonder Woman then convinces the others to help him and they travel to his Earth. But after fighting the Syndicate to escape, they devise a plan where she pairs up with Green Lantern and each pair stops the Syndicate's operations. As Diana and the League then fight the heads of the Syndicate in a final battle, she later returns to their Earth and keeps Owlman's invisible jet. But would you stop acting like an idiot? This is what we fight for. If you love her, stay. I've already lost one home. I made a promise to protect my new one. Maybe there's another one like her back on our Earth. When Kara Zor-El arrives on Earth in Superman Batman Apocalypse, she begins causing a lot of trouble for not being able to control her powers. Diana then decides to take her to Themyscira, where she can train her and protect her from a vision where she dies. When Batman and Superman visit two months later, Darkseid's army of doomsdays attack Themyscira, forcing Diana and the Amazons to engage in battle. As Darkseid secretly kidnaps Kara and takes her to Apocalypse, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, and Big Barda head to Apocalypse to fight his army and bring her home. After a battle with the Royal Flush Gang in Justice League Doom, Vandal Savage assembles the Legion of Doom with supervillains of each member of the Justice League. As they each try to kill a member, Cheetah infects Wonder Woman's body with nanites, which make her believe everyone is Cheetah until her heart gives out trying to fight them all. After Cyborg removes the nanites and Wonder Woman helps save the rest of the League, they all battle the Legion of Doom in a final battle and work together to prevent a solar flare from destroying the Earth. You're good, but lately I've had a lot of practice fighting you. When battling the Legion of Doom in GLA Adventures Trapped in Time, Lex Luthor gets frozen for a thousand years, and uses the Eternity Glass to travel back to the present. As Dawnstar and Karate Kid also travel to the past, they meet the Justice League, where Wonder Woman uses her lasso to learn exactly what's happened. After they create a paradox to undo Lex's plan of the League never existing, they work with Wonder Woman in the League 
to stop the Keeper of the Hourglass the Time Trapper before he destroys the world. I will shred that pretty face, Amazon! I have battled harpies with talons as hard as Hydra fangs. Your little scratches are almost soothing. <laughs> In an alternate universe in Justice League Gods and Monsters, Becca is Wonder Woman, the granddaughter of Highfather. After her arranged marriage with Orion and the death of Darkseid's family, she leaves using Orion's gift, a sword with a built-in mother box. Now, she's a member of the Justice League along with an alternate Batman and Superman, and they work together to stop androids who are framing them for murder. After discovering that Batman's friend Will is responsible, they defeat him and his androids, and Becca decides to leave the Justice League to face her past. Looks like you could use a partner. You don't fool me, Becca. I know why you're here. How about a wager? I win, I get the information. You win, you get me. We both know you're 50 times stronger than I am. Making several cameos in Teen Titans Go to the movies, Wonder Woman and the Justice League defeat Balloon Man, before heading to the premiere of Batman's new movie. After she arrives on the red carpet and is seen in the audience, we find her on the Warner Bros. lot shooting a new film and her origin being temporarily erased by the Teen Titans. When Slade later uses his doomsday device, Wonder Woman and all heroes are mind controlled to do his bidding until they finally applaud the Titans for defeating him. It's always been my dream to have my own movie. Well, it is important to have dreams, I guess. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, they only make movies about real heroes. Well, has there been a movie about you? It took a while, but yeah, I have my own now. When the Fatal 3 travel to the past in Justice League versus the Fatal 5, Wonder Woman attempts to recruit Jessica Cruz to become a member of the League. While Jessica thinks being chosen to be a Green Lantern was a mistake, Diana attacks her to prove her point that it wasn't one. She then regroups with the League when Superman is injured, where they discover the three are after Jessica and band together to protect her. However, when Jessica is forced to release the rest of the five, Diana, the League, and Starboy battle the Fatal Five before they return to the 31st century. You okay? Broken ale. In another alternate universe since Superman Red Sun, Wonder Woman is sent as an ambassador to the Soviet Union where she meets Superman. While admiring his ideals, she decides to change the world together and bears the colors of the nation. After getting kidnapped by Batman, she breaks free from a lasso to rescue Superman from him, but becomes old and leaves Superman because of his actions. Though, Diana later returns with golden armor to restore peace with America, but while Superman refuses, she inevitably closes Themyscira's connection with the rest of the world. Let me speak to President Luther and- The monster could manipulate you. Do you really think so little of me? Don't you see? He's given me no choice. What I see is that the man I once admired is long gone. <laughs> You're just another pathetic man, aren't you? When The Flash travels to another Earth in Justice Society World War II, he encounters Wonder Woman and her team, the Justice Society of America. After Steve Trevor proposes to Diana, as he does every night until she says yes, they regroup, save prisoners from Nazis, and later discover that Aquaman is under his advisor's control. While she's forced to fight him, as Atlantis is helping Nazis invade America, Arthur comes to his senses and retreats back to the ocean. Diana then accepts Steve's proposal before he dies, but she gives Barry her ring, so he doesn't wait for love as she did. Now the live-action animated film, Space Jam, A New Legacy, Warner Bros. AI demands LeBron James to win a game of basketball to win his son's freedom. He then teams up with Bugs Bunny and travels to the comics of Wonder Woman to recruit Lola. To become an Amazon, 
Diana sends Lola to pass her final trials before time runs out. Though Lola decides to save Bugs and LeBron instead of finishing the trials, Diana decides to make her an Amazon because of her values and advises her to help save LeBron's son. I failed. A warrior is judged not only by her skills, but by her values. You are now an Amazon. I am! Now go with your friends. Help them win this Battle of the Baskets. With a film that is loosely based on the video game Injustice, Wonder Woman comforts Superman after the death of Lois, his unborn son, Metropolis, and the Joker. While she and other heroes support Superman in his new approach of peace, some don't agree and the League is disbanded. Diana then works with him to protect the planet, searches for his father after he's kidnapped, shows her initial feelings for him, and helps fight the android Amazo. After Diana disagrees with Batman and his team's arrest, as they help defeat it, Superman attacks her, so she helps them arrest him. There's no place to hide. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I smash this mirror with you halfway out. You wouldn't. Where's Jonathan Kent? Bolivia! Bolivia! Now with the end of her evolution till she makes another appearance, comment down below which version of Wonder Woman was your favorite. And if you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram for updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next evolution.